can't you? Good morning, buddy. What you up to? What you up to? You can lay on my head. Oh, you want rubs? Yeah. My morning cat ritual. Say hello to the camera. Say hello. Good boy. Good boy this morning. Good meowing indeed. The coffee is brewing. It's 8.01 a.m. So just waiting for it to be finished so I can have my first cup of coffee this fine morning. Ooh, that's some hot stuff. Yes, I put creamer and sugar in my coffee. I do not like my coffee black. <laughs> I have to have some kind of sweetness in the morning to go with my caffeinated beverage here. So hey guys, it is Keith from Inside the Bunker. So thank you for waking up with me today. This is going to be a little bit of a kind of update video for August. Um, there's a lot going on. I know I just released an update video like a week and a half, two weeks ago, but things have kind of changed and um, I have a lot of stuff to do around town today and I was maybe gonna go see some new things. So I thought I'd bring you guys all with me as I kind of talk about some of those things. Um, yeah, so a lot a lot of life events are happening as far as uh, work, as those that followed me, like I said, on my last video. I kind of gave a little update on an interview process that I'm going through, which is still going to be happening. It's happening in two days now, um, this Friday. So I will have some more information, hopefully, on that coming up very shortly. But yeah, there's um, just a lot going on. Uh, the channel... Um, I'm, I'm very happy with where, where we're going with the channel. Uh, a lot of comments that I've been getting from all of you guys that have been really supporting like everything we've been doing. The, the RetroCon video that we went uh, to in Tampa, the, to the ToyCon, did really well. Uh, you guys seem to really like that kind of content and stuff like that. So I really appreciate all of you that have come out to watch those. But um, yeah, this video is going to be kind of more of like a, I don't know, kind of announcing that... August is going to be a very, very, very slow time for the channel. We're not getting rid of Inside the Bunker. We're not going to be, you know, stopping entirely. But August specifically, kind of like November, December for me, where I don't really post a lot of content. You guys have been following us for a couple years now, probably have noticed that. But August this year is going to be insane. I'm going to be traveling a lot for work. I'm going to be out of town a lot and it's all work related stuff. So I'm not going to have a lot of time to like go out and film anything or give like updates or anything. I might try to do little updates like this if something really important happens or some news story breaks that I want to kind of speak about and stuff like that. But for the most part, we're going to be very, very, very busy. Uh, Christina's working today, for example, us getting days off together, are very few and far between as of lately. But, um, yeah, we're going to do the best we can. So don't be discouraged if this is the last video you see from us for a, like, gosh, maybe for three or four weeks, maybe even longer. Um, we do have some great things planned coming up. Just know that we are not going away. If you don't see content from us, it's literally because we are extremely busy. I mean, I mean, that's that's basically the only reason. I mean, we we love doing the channel. We love making content for you guys. We love reading your comments. We love interacting with you all. It's just uh, life, you know, sucks when you work full time and have a YouTube channel <laughs> and a podcast. So, um, but yeah, we're about to leave in a few minutes or I'm about to leave in a few minutes. You guys are coming with me, but I am going to actually get a massage today, which I have not done since August of last year. I looked when I booked the appointment, it was like, you've last visited this site in August of last year. And I'm like, oh my God, it's been a year. 
so yeah, I'm really excited for that. It's I'm gonna get a deep tissue massage uh, first thing this morning at nine o'clock. I have an appointment. It's eight ten right now, so I'm gonna leave the house in a few minutes so we can uh, get there. I also have some other errands to run around town, and there's also a new pizza joint here in the Brevard County area, Brevard County, Florida, where I live. Um, that opened, I guess, yesterday was its first like grand opening. We may check that out for some lunch today. I'm going to see exactly where it is uh, compared to where I'm going to be at and see if it's not too far out of the way. And maybe I'll include that in this video as well. So there's a lot of updates today, a lot of places we're going to go. I'm going to go to the comic book store. We're going to pick up some new comics and maybe check out some pops and stuff like that. Going to go to Barnes and Noble. Going to go to Best Buy. I'm going to pick up Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Came out yesterday. There's a lot going on today. So I just thought I'd film an impromptu video, give you guys a little update on life, and we'll go from there. Thank you guys for joining me inside the bunker. Let's go. So we're here at stop number one, Space Coast Massage and Spa, which I've been going to for a very long time, probably 20 years, I was going to say. It's been here in Brevard County for a long time. Um, very nice people. They always do a great job. I really, really needed a spa day today, <laughs> a guy spa day, if you will. Um, I'm planning on getting my hair cut as well as part of this trip because uh, you guys can see it's kind of all over the place at the moment, which it's Florida, so it's very hot. So um, for all the men and women that have really long hair and can somehow stand it in Florida, more power to you. I cannot, I'm not one of those. But uh, yeah, I'm getting a one and a half hour deep tissue massage today. So they're going to beat me up basically. And um, I brought some water. I have like four bottles of water because you're supposed to drink a lot when you get a massage. Um, because it releases like toxins and kind of moves all your muscles around and everything. So it's always good to hydrate, um, get a lot of fluids in you and everything. So yeah, this is going to be the first stop of our trip today. So before I go in, it's 838 at the moment and nine o'clock is when my appointment is, but I just wanted to get into a little bit about, again, what we talked about at the beginning of the video, which is not having a lot of content for August, which again, as much as I would love to have content every single day, every other weekend, whatever for you guys, it's just with my schedule, it's just really, really, really hard to do. But yeah, August is extremely, extremely busy for me and for Christina. And with this whole thing with the job interview and possible promotion, or whether it happens or not, I'm going to be busy. It doesn't matter one way or the other. So if I get the promotion, I'll be traveling to go do training. If I don't get the promotion, there's a lot of stuff around town and other um, areas of Florida that I'm going to have to be traveling to help out with other locations for my job. So either way, going to be busy. Um, Again, we have plenty of content coming out. Um, I just don't want you guys to think, you know, oh God, Inside the Bunker is disappearing. They're going away forever. No, that's not a, not the case at all. It's just, this is just a very tough time for us as far as uh, being able to release content. So don't give up on us. Um, I'm going to still be posting on uh, usually Twitter slash X slash whatever the heck uh, Elon decided to call it now. But um, I'll be posting on there on Instagram and on Facebook, uh, if you follow Inside the Bunker on Facebook. And I'll put the links um, down in the uh, description below so that way you guys can see all of the uh, links to be able to follow. And I'll give updates on there if something changes or whenever I post a new video. But please like and subscribe. Um, you will get an update on when I do post new videos and when we uh, go on our little adventures. But um, I appreciate all of you guys. I, I really, 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 really do. But we are gonna go inside now and I'm going to meet you guys on the other side. And I am back. As you can see by my hair, it's a little frazzled. Um, that was an awesome massage, by the way. I can actually move my neck. Um, for those that didn't know, I kind of like injured my left um, like neck area, tendon, whatever. Um, so she focused really on that and it seems to be a lot better. I can move my neck like a full, a full neck. It still hurts a little bit, but, um, I'm going to be drinking a lot of water and, um, yeah, try to recover from that. So we're going to go on our next adventure, which I don't know if I'm going to get my haircut yet or if I'm going to go to another place, but yeah, let's take you guys with me. Can't forget the water. Talked about it, but forgot about it. Gotta stay hydrated. I got a little bit of a 
thing going on here with my mustache while she was, I guess, massaging my face. Interesting, I like it. And stop number two, we are going to head to Sports Clips Haircuts so I can get my hair did. So I can look good for my interview. It's gonna be a video interview, so I wanna make sure I don't look like a scraggly dog. Not that it's bad right now, it's just, this isn't usually what I do with my hair and my beard's a little weird, so. But yeah, we're gonna go into Sports Clips and uh, get a good old haircut. And I am back with a new hairdo, nice shorter hair. Got my hair did, feel a lot better. So it's gonna be a lot cooler now. So I am extremely happy with that. So first two stops are out of the way. So uh, spa day part of our adventure today is over. So we're going to now head to stop number three on my little trek today. It's 11.04, so just giving you a good time update, kind of a timestamp of what we're up to. Stop number three, we're going to be going to Barnes and Noble Booksellers. There's a couple books that I think came out and I haven't been in a Barnes and Noble in a few months probably. I think I went two or three months ago maybe. And I always like to check out the like new stuff, see what's going on. So we're gonna head in there for a little bit, uh, just a quick trip and then go across the street to our next location right after that. Not much in Barnes & Noble today, but I did find Brad Thor's new book, which if you've been following the channel, you know I collect his novels. I have every single one of them that he's ever come out with. Every August, he seems to have a new one. And um, yeah, so pick that up. And we're gonna head off to our next adventure. And stop number four on our little journey today. We're heading to Best Buy so I can pick up some Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Really looking forward to seeing this movie again and I wanted to pick up the Steelbook. So let's go in and see what we can find. So shout out to my friend John for pre-ordering Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 for me on Steelbook because um, I would not have been able to pick one up because they did not have any on the shelf. They were sold out. They had the regular version, but I want the Steelbook. Love this movie. Really absolutely adored it and um, I'm looking forward to seeing it again. And there it is. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the Steelbook. So pretty exciting. As you see the uh, order pickup there <laughs> where... Uh, it was pre-ordered, but yeah, uh, pretty much any steel books from now on, you probably should pre-order if you're a fan of collecting this type of stuff. I have a lot of the Marvel, the MCU steel books. I'm in my personal collection. Um, some of them I do not just because, you know, I didn't care for the movie or I was way too late in picking it up. But with this one, I had to get it. I love the Guardians of the Galaxy, probably my favorite series of MCU movies. And I'm looking forward to seeing it again, man. It's gonna be awesome. And um, if you haven't seen it, uh, watch it. If animal abuse like bothers you and stuff like that, I would kind of err on the side of caution because it does have some like pretty bad depictions of like animal abuse and stuff. But the movie overall was really good. And for stop number five, four, five, five. I believe it's five. <laughs> it's been a it's been a kind of a adventure today. Uh, we're heading to Famous Faces and Funnies here in Melbourne as well. Um, for those of their fans of the channel or that subscribe, you've probably seen me go in here a couple times. They've made an appearance, but yeah, we're um, going to, they open in a few minutes, it's 11.45, so they open like 15 minutes. I'm gonna check and see if they have any new comics for me, maybe check out some pops, check out some figures, see what's going on in there. Um, there's also uh, this uh, Get Your Fun On is part of Famous Faces and Funnies. They sell like Warhammer and board games and D&D and stuff like that. There's a new expansion to Hero Quest that I'm looking for, which is a board game that I really, really enjoy. It supposedly came out a couple weeks ago. I don't know if they're gonna have it yet, but I'm gonna check for that too and see what they have and maybe pick up some stuff. So yeah, let's go.
And here are our pickups from Famous Faces and Funnies. We've got Moon Knight. It's a variant cover of the new issue number 26. Another variant. That's a pretty cool one, actually. It's a different art style than I'm used to seeing for Moon Knight. We have the regular cover, which is basically, um, you know, the standard one. Who are they gods? I guess this is a new storyline they're going to be doing or something similar. We have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Again, a very good comic. For those who follow the channel, you've seen that before. But um, pretty good comic, actually. It's um, kind of mature for Power Rangers, so it's not necessarily just for kids, but highly recommend it. This is actually a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive cover, Moon Knight City of the Dead. So they um, got that from, I guess, uh, got it ordered and put it in my folder for me. It was $10, so a special variant. And lastly, a super variant of Moon Knight City of the Dead. It's $50 for this issue, but um, it's super rare. I'm not sure what the actual, um, like, numbering is on it as far as, like, how many you they've made or anything like that. I just know it's a variant, but pretty cool artwork. I needed to pick this up because, again, love me some Moon Knight and pretty much own everything I can find for Moon Knight. Alas, however, they did not have the Hero Quest expansion that I was looking for. So I will be ordering it on Amazon, I think. Um, that's where I tend to get most of them. I found one of the um, expansions here at Famous Faces, but or at Get Your Phone On, I'm sorry. They're part of Famous Faces, as I said earlier. But um, yeah, I really enjoy that game, so I'm gonna have to probably order it online. It came out like middle of July and everything. So um, now to head to our next stop. Oh my gosh, guys. There's a Spirit Halloween opening in Vieira right next to pretty much where my mom lives, which you know, this is actually not what my next stop was supposed to be. It just happened to be that I was driving to check out the pizza place that I was gonna tell you guys about. And lo and behold, I saw a Spirit Halloween sign, so I had to come in to see if they were open. I was gonna do a little impromptu little Halloween video as part of this, but alas, it says coming soon. So it's coming and they're probably setting up inside. They already have a lot of the um, like window decals up that blocks what you can see, but yep. That's super exciting too, because I used to live like right in this area, in the Suntree area over um, in, off of Vieira, Florida. Basically that's where I lived for a good portion of my young adult life, pretty much from when I, well, I was what, 11, 12 until my early 20s slash fast forward my mid 20s and my early 30s until you know me and Christina met and we obviously got our own place and everything but it's uh, been like a special part of my life and this Publix that's actually right here in this parking lot in this plaza is um, the Publix I used to literally walk to all the time like to come get snacks or whatever when I was a kid and candy you know there's a Walgreens in here as well um, literally the spirit Halloween is in the place of what used to be the old Walgreens that I used to come all the time and get like snacks and stuff after school um it, this is super exciting for me i mean this is not going to be the closest spirit halloween to my house but the fact that they're opening one here is pretty cool and it's going to be i'm going to definitely check out this one once it does open maybe do a video inside of there um to check out all the new like new merchandise and everything because it holds such a special place in my heart like literally if this spirit halloween hat was open when i was a kid I would have literally come here pretty much every single day because I was so into horror and scary stuff and spooky stuff. So I would have literally just walked over here it's and just check it out. So this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm actually super like geeked out about the fact that they're opening one here. This is the first time it's been in this location that I know of. And um, yeah, I was hoping it was open. I had my fingers crossed that they were gonna be open, but they are not. So we will be back guys. I will do a video and we will be back to this Spirit Halloween in the near future. Bye-bye, Spirit Halloween. We will see you soon. And we are at the last stop of the day, uh, Jenna Pizza Express. It's a new pizza joint that opened down the street from where my mom lives, actually in Vieira. And they apparently had their grand opening yesterday. It's funny, I was on Facebook this morning and I saw a article uh, with an interview with their owner. And it's only the second location that's open um, here in Florida. So it looks really, really good. I mean, it's New York style pizza. So um, we're gonna check it out and I'll report back my findings on whether this is a place you should check out if you're looking for New York style pizza in Florida. Whew, I am back. I want to just tell you, 
it was excellent. <laughs> It was amazing, actually. Um, as you guys could see in the video, I'm going to share some clips here. I, I got the buffalo chicken pizza. I think it was a 14-inch, I want to say. Kind of on the expensive side, but it's also a gourmet pizza. They have uh, cheaper options. I'm going to share some pictures and some video of the actual menu so you guys can kind of get an idea of what they have and their pricing structure and everything, as well as their website. But it was ex excellent. I, I It's funny. I told the waiter when I sat down when he brought me the pizza... I'm like, I'm definitely going to need a take home box. There's no way in heck I'm going to be able to eat all this. I ended up eating everything but one piece. So, and I'm not a huge eater when it comes to like pizza like that. I usually have three slices, maybe four at the most, depending on where you're getting. But I mean, it was excellent. One of the best Buffalo chicken pizzas I've ever had. I know very weird choice for pizza, but I love Buffalo chicken everything. And um, shout out to my friend, Sean, if you're watching another Buffalo chicken review just throwing it out there but um it's excellent you guys should definitely check it out uh, it's called uh it's it's either jenna or genna i don't know how you pronounce it i didn't ask um but they were a little bit busy in there i took some video of like the general vicinity but it's excellent pizza amazing i highly recommend it it was really really good one of the best buffalo chicken pizzas i've ever had i'm sure the rest of their menu is great they have a lot of lot of different options so um yeah definitely check them out and I have made it back home. I am in the Marvel Room, which um, for those, I don't know if I've ever actually shown off the Marvel Room. It's kind of a mess right now, but um, you know, some Moon Knight posters, Avengers Infinity War. We actually have Marvel wallpaper, as you can see. So it's like our nerd room where we keep all of our pops and everything. So yeah, you can see them behind me here, but um, yeah, I kind of do our, our exit videos, or basically our outro videos uh, here in this room. It's just kind of a safe space, kind of not really a safe space. It's more of a um, quiet room, I should say, where I can um, be away from the kitties for a little bit and, um, and finish what we're actually uh, doing. But to get back to what we were talking about, about the future of the channel, we want to do a lot of different things with, especially starting with the um, Spooky Empire that's coming up in October. I want to do something a little bit different that a lot of vloggers, um, content creators tend to not do when they go to conventions, as opposed to just filming vendors like I've been doing, putting music over it and talking a little bit. I, that's fine for me. And, and I love watching all of my content creator friends do that type of content. It's fine. Um, just with me, sometimes I find it hard to like talk during a lot of those um interactions and stuff because it's really loud in a convention for those of you that have never been to a like horror convention or megacon or any of those big conventions it's extremely loud a lot of music playing a lot of crowds it's it's very hard to like hold a conversation for like more than like five seconds um with like the vendors and stuff like that um however at spooky empire the reason we're going all three days um for those of you that have maybe new to the channel haven't heard this we bought vip tickets and we're going to be staying at the same hotel as the actual convention this time around. What that means is instead of us having to basically film everything in one day, celebrities, autographed appearances, artist alley, ta the tattoo area where they do the tattoo, um, like for guests and stuff like that. And the vendors and cosplay and basically having to do that all in like a five hour video, uh, driving over there, driving back. We have three days of uninterrupted access to Spooky Empire, which would be cool. Um, with that being said, we're going to take our time a lot more with filming everything at that convention. So Christina and I are kind of in the early beginning stages of planning out kind of what we're going to be doing as far as like, okay, on this day, we want to film this on this day. We want to focus on this. It will also to give us a lot of freedom. A lot of times for those of you that aren't content creators, and I'm sure a lot of my content creator friends and colleagues can probably relate to this. When you're filming the um, convention or whatever you're filming, sometimes you lose certain things. Like you're not able to experience it in the same way as like a fan would be able to experience it. Going all three days gives us the opportunity to where I can actually go in and not even film for half a day, a full day if I wanted to, and not have to worry about the stress of like, oh God, I got to get this all on camera and today and I got to get it edited and everything like that. It's, um, it's not about that situ you know, what that situation and what we're doing. So we're kind of working out the details. Um, the other thing we want to do with this video 
we're tr we want to make it more of a kind of documentary style um, video, I guess. I I don't know what the actual word for it would be, but instead of it just being me going to the convention or us going to the convention, Christina and I, you know, and the whole the whole experience, be able to edit it in a way where it's almost like I'm telling a story from the convention. And I and I know it sounds a little odd. You're probably like, oh, I don't know what she's talking about. Trust me, there's some YouTubers out there that I follow that I I really enjoy that do similar type videos. Never for these type of conventions, though. And I really want to try to kind of express, you know, myself a little bit better, uh, spread my wings, if you will, um, with my editing style and, and all that. What this means, it means one of two things. Um, one, the video probably won't be out like the following day or the day of, of Spooky Empire. It's probably going to be up to a week to maybe a week and a half after Spooky Empire. So hopefully you guys will still be interested <laughs> in what, what it is. Um, but, and number two... I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I want to try to do my best to any any content creators, any cosplayers that come up to me that want to have a conversation, vendors. If you want to be on camera, just let me know. I will 100% include you in the video. It's, again, more about interactions and community. I'm really trying to get it more into a community on what the convention community could be. As far as the horror fandom, the horror community and all that, instead of me just showcasing everything, talk to people, have more of like a interactive experience with those that we meet in the, in the horror world. I know it sounds like a lot. Trust me. We have a vision that we're going to try to meet. We will share more about this as it gets closer. Obviously when the video goes live, we will be promoting the heck out of it. This is something I really wanted to do, um, especially with starting with this convention. Um, I'm going to try to do a lot better with um, editing styles and try. I'm, I, if you guys have noticed, for those of you that started the channel, and I sound like I'm rambling right now, I probably am. But I've tried different styles and different editing styles. No editing, where I just put a video together and say, here you go. Um, I've changed thumbnails. I've, I've done a lot of things. And it's not necessarily to get views it's more of i'm trying to find my voice um what do, do we want to do for the channel that makes us different than everybody else because there's a lot of content creators that do exactly what we do and it's not that and i love them all of them love them to death um but uh, what can we do that's a little bit different um so that's coming um that's a big one and we also have some other videos coming down the pipeline i'm not ready to spoil yet but I really appreciate you guys joining me on this like impromptu vlog of just kind of giving you an update on what's going on. Sorry for August. It's going to be a little light on content. Promise you we have some awesome stuff coming though, as I was saying. Um, all of you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me inside the bunker today. Cannot wait to talk to you guys soon and have you guys join us in these adventures that we're going to be partaking in. So thank you so much. See you guys later. And to end the video, like we normally do with a cat, this is the first time you guys have probably ever seen Loki. He is our skittish little boy who doesn't like to get a lot of attention. And he only comes to you if he wants to come to you. But he has really chilled out recently. Come here, buddy. Look, look. As you can see, look at him. He's really opened up a lot. Um, he's our adopted cat. I mean, all of them are adopted. But this one came from some owners that had him for, I want to say we got him when he was like two maybe a year and a half, two years old. So he was a little bit skittish when we got him and everything, but he's a sweetheart. But yeah, we're going to end the video on you, Loke. You get to be part of our video. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Say bye-bye. Good boy.